Ukrainians create a kill zone for Russians in Kalinivka town of Kharkiv. In Chasiv Yar, Russians intensified their assaults towards Kalinivka town. They want to directly attack the center of Chasiv Yar from the north. However, the Ukrainians were readily awaiting these assaults, and so the Russians failed to advance and incurred losses so serious that they had to halt their attacks altogether and make an operational pause, according to Ukraine Today media outlet. The goal of the Russian forces is to establish control over Kalinivka to utilize the canal crossing for further assaults on Chasiv Yar. If the Russians effectively exploit this advance, they would avoid crossing the canal from the Kanal district. Instead, attacking the town center from the northern crossing near Kalinivka could prove more efficient. The Russian assaults on Kalinivka were preceded by an intense artillery barrage augmented by glide bomb strikes, resulting in the destruction of most of the village. With no buildings left to use as firing positions, Ukrainian fighters withdrew to more favorable positions west of the canal. Subsequently, Russian troops advanced along Lisova Street, reaching the canal crossing. Destroying all buildings in eastern Kalinivka proved to be a double-edged sword for the Russians. The destruction eliminated any possibility of concealing and protecting their troops from Ukrainian artillery, tank and drone strikes. As a result, Russian forces were forced to move across open areas, leading to their rapid destruction. Due to the significant losses with little to no gains, Russian army morale in this area is very low. This has led the Russian command to set up barrier troops to kill deserters or capture them and send them back to the deadly frontline positions. Facing a shortage of motivated personnel and struggling to command mostly demotivated troops, Russian commanders deploy only small groups of infantry for assaults. Another reason for this tactic is the heavy losses in equipment and troops during larger assaults where Russian forces lose between 40 and 70 percent of their equipment. Ukrainian fighters in the area are using up to 50 drones daily to hit 25 Russian targets, primarily targeting Russian armored assault formations attempting to advance. A Russian Storm Z instructor claimed that Russian forces made their most significant gains in Chasiv Yar, Avdiivka, and Ocheretny through attritional frontal assaults, airstrikes and artillery without any advances on the flanks. These assaults resulted in the loss of a significant number of armored vehicles during intensified mechanized operations. Deputy head of the presidential office, Roman Mashovets, stated that the number of available tanks for Russian forces in the Chasiv Yar, Siversk and Kurakov directions has significantly decreased to 650 tanks. He also noted that the number of combat-ready armored fighting vehicles is now just 1,850. Короче, ребята, тут полная жопа. Сигнал тревожный поступил 20 минут третьего. Слух Павловской горит нефтебаза. Приехали в 4 утра. Пол пятого душим, не можем никак подушить. 51, 34 местная, наш пожарный поезд, толку никакого нет. Бахнуло так, вроде бы как потухло, все потом бахнуло опять, так что мама не горюй. И когда это закончится, никто ничего не знает. Андрюх, Андрюха, Андрюха, Иван еще будет. Короче, вот такие у нас выходные дни сегодня происходят. Полная жопа, уже ни сил нет, ни хрена, ничего, блин. В этой амуниции, блин, мокрая как негры в постюшке, полная жопа. Просить бы тут ручей.